Hola, ¿qué pasa? Ah, hello. Um, I'm Duncan Goff, and uh, I'm just... Hola, ¿qué pasa? I'm Duncan Goff, and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the fantastic, unique guided tour that Nick Tunstall and I have put together for June 21. Just to blow away all the dust from having been stuck at home for the last year. Or I have, anyway. Um, it's been driving me out of my brain because it's the first time in 20 years I haven't been going around the back roads of Spain. So this is called the Back Roads of Spain Guided Tour. And it's different because Nick and I both believe in making the tour as personal as possible as flexible as possible and all about the experience rather than just trying to add up miles or get you from A to B to C and say we've ticked that off and we've ticked that off. Um, so the main principle is there is a central tour for bring your own bikes which starts from the 14th of June from Borgos in northern Spain and it will return there on the 23rd of June. That's basically the 10 days in between. Because there are ferries arriving in Santander or Bilbao. There's, there's two ferries arriving on the 3rd of June. There's a ferry arriving 4th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. And then there are departures on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. So it, it, that, that, that means that even if you don't get on exactly the same, the one ferry, you've got a bit of choice there. Basically, the bring your own. We set off on the 14th. We'll have one stopover, which will be somewhere um, on the way. Now, a lot of people know the Pyrenees, the N260, routes along that way towards Catalonia. Well, I'm going to I'm going to take you to some different areas, some interesting smaller sea areas that, that a lot of people don't really know about. And that is on the southern side of the Ebro Valley. So I'll just point out on the map, Santander and Bilbao. Borgos is here and where we're going to is down over here. We're going to cut down through all this area here to come up to there. <coughs> and that's going to make it, it an interesting way over. So we've got two nights on the way over. And then we have uh, six nights, five days at a fantastic complex, a lovely Marcia, Mars del Marco. And we've booked the whole place. It's got a big main house, two casitas, uh, 50 acres of grounds, almonds, olive trees, a pool, a restaurant, entertainment room. And it's just for us for those those six days. So we can really enjoy it. Um, it's going to be uh, first come, first serve on the types of accommodation, which is why the price listing you will see is there's four four different ways of doing it basically it depends on whether you're with a pillion and so on pillions where I'm going to try and build in a reduction for the pillion because a lot of guided tours just say oh per person and I don't think that's quite fair because pillions don't take up another bike they're not another bike they aren't adding in that way and then most of the time the rooms uh, in, in Spain are by the room, not by the person. So they're not adding to accommodation costs. So what the guided tour will do is give you accommodation, guiding and all, all the um, admin that goes with it. So right up until just before the tour, we will, of course, be checking that they're open, that they haven't collapsed financially, that the covid things are out the way that we know we'll be able to go there 
Then you get the guided tours, and in the Master Mako, you get your accommodation, plus cooked breakfast, plus evening menu del dia. And then when we go out, there may be a charge if, for instance, you want to go canoeing, because we haven't worked that in yet. And part of the flexibility is if you put yourself in as interested, then you get a questionnaire about the things that you'd like to see. That works into the planning of the tour. When you pay a deposit, you get even more um, part of what is designed and how we do it. Most of the time, uh, particularly in Master Marco, there will be at least two different tours each day doing different activities. You get to choose what you want to do and we're very flexible about trying to, to make what it is for you. Um, the days, uh, mileage, I don't like to take anything above 200 miles when we're working as a group. I normally won't uh, have a bigger group than five or at the most six bikes because it doesn't allow you to stop for a photo shoot or I'll stop, wow, look, there's golden eagles there or whatever it is. Um, so, and, and stopping and seeing things and meeting people is what it, what it's all about. I have a lot of friends in Spain from, from 40 years of travel. And so there may be places where I can just say, oh, let's stop in there and we'll say hello to the Senorita in the Boala Fuente or whatever it is. And so that's what the whole experience is, is going to be about. It's not just about getting there. It's not about the miles. It's about, um, what you see on the way. Um, let's see. If you can come earlier from the 4th or 3rd or 4th until the 14th, that 10 days, I am going to be uh, based in Burgos or the area there and I will be offering day tours or if a group particularly would like to have five day tour, then I would do something like I might be able to do you Peninsula War battlefields. And we might stay a, stay a night in Salamanca or, or something like that and go out and come back. But certainly I can, I can give things around before the main tour starts. And uh, one of the things is on the 11th, there's a fantastic fiesta that I'd really like to take you to close by. Now, we'll see. It, it's not one that's particularly easy to find out about, but I know about it. Anyway, then for if you would like to fly and ride, we do have the option. You can fly into Reus Airport. That's the best one. Barcelona uh, costs a little bit more for us to come and get you and all, all that sort of thing. Fly into Reus and you can do it probably with just a bag of stuff because we have got, we can get kit um, and helmets available for you. Then within the price of the fly and ride, you get a uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan. You can upgrade if you wish at your own cost to anything up to a GS 1200, up to you. But you get that built in with the accommodation, the guiding and, and all the other things that everybody else is getting. Now you would come in on the um, 15th say, and stay till the 20th, the night of the 20th, 21st. So that's your days there on the fly and ride. On the 21st, the bring your owns, we are leaving to go back to Borgos. Now we're stopping two nights on the way back because there's a particularly wonderful town with a tunnel that goes right under the middle of it. And it's, it's up in the mountains and I'd like to take you there and another little town that I've got. So we'd get back to Borgos on the 23rd. You get your night in Borgos on the 23rd and the ferry goes out on the 24th. And as I say, um, there are ferries the 23rd, 24th, um, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. So that's the kind of things that uh, I hope you would be interested and would like to sign up for. I should be able to get a 10% ferry discount for anybody coming on Brittany Ferries. Uh, basically, you book your ferry, you pay your fuel, and you pay your meals between uh, Borgos and the Master Mackle, where we, we, we've got it all organised and tied down. And there, you, you will have to pay your out, own alcohol, although we probably 
treat you at one one night. And there we would like to probably have a party. They've got a, a, an, an entertainment room. We can have a disco if we want or something like that. And a couple of nights I'll probably do presentations on other parts of Spain or uh, generally about Spain, about the history of the Civil War or the Golden Age or something like that. Anyway, I do hope you'll have a look at the website, uh, which will come up after this video, the end of this video and perhaps come and have a look at it and it'd be lovely for you to join us. Thank you.